be doing some more hockey cards. I have a box of 2018, uh, a few boxes of 2019, and then I have a bunch of blaster boxes of 2020. Um, have not opened this product yet. I found this. It was clearanced. Series 1 Hockey Upper Deck 2018. It was uh, $16, so pretty good price. Pretty sure it's similar to the other years. Um, I think you get the oversized. Yeah, you get the oversized card. And then I think the young ones are 1 and 5. And you have the canvas 1 and 14. Young guns 1 and 96. I'm assuming that's the canvas young guns. So yeah, let's uh, put the ice skates on. Let's get out there and sco score some goals here today. <laughs> I don't know much about this. Um, I tried looking up some cards in this set. I'm not sure. Uh, there's uh, Miro Heiskanen. But I, don't, I don't know if you can get him out of this one or not. We'll have to see. Oh, and they got it in plastic this time. Nice. Look at that, guys. It comes in a plastic... That's way better than the new stuff. It's looking pretty pretty good, too. Um, Kristen Veselainen. Veselainen. Not too familiar. Plays for the Winnipeg. Very nice. So you get that card. And then you also get... It's like... Oh, you get 10 packs out of here. What the heck? <laughs> this is way better than the new stuff. New stuff, you get eight packs, and or no, you get six packs out of the new. This stuff, you get ten, so you should get two young guns out of here then. Yeah, we, we got some hockey. Look at that, the first pack, we got a young guns. Thomas Heike from the Knights. Checklist card there. That's Ovechkin right there, I thought I recognized him. Set that off to the side. So right off the get-go, Thomas Heike. Not too familiar if this is a good one or not. Let's look at the card number here, 224. Yeah, I don't think there's any big names in this Series 1. Could be wrong, though. Let me know if you guys know. Probably know more than I do. <laughs> But hockey is supposed to be starting up here uh, next week. Brendan Gallagher. UD Portraits. Uh, 916 Collector, what's going on? Open the Mega Box a few weeks back. Pretty banged up. Dang, that sucks. Yeah, that can happen with boxes. I, don't, I haven't had that issue with hockey at all, but it can happen. DMDDH, Joel, what's going on? Leave a like if you guys could. Notify some more people. Um, I got more baseball today. I don't want to do it just yet because we just did that yesterday, but probably do it tomorrow. Uh, it's, um, Tops Holiday. That's really all there is out there that you're going to be able to find. I did find, uh, Stadium Club Chrome, too. Probably just throw that in there, too. That's a fun, fun set to open. I'm guessing this pack's going to have a young gun in it. There's our Red Wings. Oh, we got one. There it is. Dallin and Elias Peterson. I think he's one of the good ones. Oh, there's a, it's just a darn checklist card. I hate when you get the checklist. <laughs> Talk on it. It's, it's just it's not worth as much as far as a Young Guns card. So we got card 250 and card 224. But I think Peterson is one of the good ones. If we would have got his solo card. Wonder if any of these hockey uh, games are gonna have fans. I 
The reason I knew that pack probably had one in it was the first pack had one in it, and it says every five packs. So I figured the sixth pack would have one in it as well. And I was right. Pretty predictable. Mitch Marner from the Maple Leafs. Pretty sure he's pretty good. Mitch Marner. 130 points in two years. Twice and added three assists to help lead Toronto. 6-3 win over Ottawa in 2018. First five-point game for a Maple Leaf since 2009. Holy crap. Um, oh, look at that. We got a shooting star. Victor Hedman. Defenseman. That's a cool-looking card. Hedman, uh, eight-game assist streak. 2018 Stanley Cup. Begin with game one of the second round. That's pretty good. thing is with hockey is they don't score a lot of goals in a game. So when you see somebody getting that many, that much stuff going on, it's, you know, kind of a big deal. Let's uh, get these in the sleeves. I don't know too much about Brendan Gallagher, but. All right, last few cards, and then we're going to open the last two packs here. Yeah, I don't know hockey too much either. Or Joel. Just kind of, you know. It's tired of seeing, like, no cards on the shelves, and you see a bunch of hockey there. And there's some hockey cards that are worth, you know, hundreds of dollars. So, wanted in on the action. Carlo. Ooh, we got a canvas card here. These have this different surface to them. Blake Coleman. Blake Coleman. So, pretty much we got the two young guns, shooting stars, portraits, checklist, um, it's a canvas card. Pretty much the only regular card of young guns was Thomas Heike. Not, not too sure if that's valuable or not. All right, let's get into some 2019. I believe these are mega boxes, if, I, if I'm correct on that. 2018 or 2019 20 series one. I believe we're looking for the Nick Suzuki. It's worth about 200 bucks in a 10, and then a Quinn Hughes, which is worth about 275 in a 10. So, let's see what the odds are on these. So show us. Here we go. So, regular canvas, 1 in 7, young guns, 1 in 48, and regular young guns, 1 in 4. How do you open this darn box up? It's 2019 hockey. This is our first time opening uh, 2019. This is like a mega box type deal. Looks like you get exclusive rookie die cut tribute cards. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. So there's that. And then 10 packs. Let's open this tribute pack. I'm, I'm curious if these are, are going to be any good or just kind of, you know, junk cards. Who knows? Whoa, these are cool looking, man. It's got that foil on the edge, just like the old uh, Upper Deck SP cards. From the 90s. And it's die cut. Zach Semshin. Philip Zadina. And they are rookies. They have the rookie logo. And Alexandre Texier. So I'm going to sleeve these up. I don't know if they have a lot of value or not. But they're pretty cool looking. That's kind of what you know what you get in this box. As your bonus. Other than the 10 packs. So, I'm sure if you get a good name, it would be worth some money. Is that the Boston Bruins? Yes, it is. Okay, so, Ethan Patterson, what's going on? Ten packs of cards. Oops. Packs are feeling pretty thick. Nick Suzuki and Quinn Hughes. So we should get at least two, um... At least two young guns in here. Carter Hart. 
Austin Matthews, UD Portrait. Basketball pack opening. Um, I don't have any basketball right now. It's nearly impossible to find. So I don't have any. Mike Hoffman. Maybe I'll get something vintage, but Mario Ferrero. Nice. Very nice. We got our first young gun card. These do have the uh, more square cut corners, which is nice. The issue with the new ones is they're kind of rounded on a lot of them. Mario Ferrero. Card 230. Very nice. Don't know the value on that one, but take it. Evander Kane. Duncan Keith. He's on the Blackhawks. Kind of learned some of the Blackhawks names. Some of those guys used to play for the Rockford Icehawks when they used to go. Like Jonathan Toes. I know him. <clears throat> oh, I got all my basketball boxes on eBay. I used to get them for really cheap before the prices all went up. We got a UD Canvas, Jacob Slavin. I think a lot of that stuff has just gone too expensive. People are out of their minds. Uh, let's see here. Tom Wilson. Not the same one that was in Back to the Future. <laughs> Robert Thomas. And another... Not sure on that name. I think the next pack's going to have a young gun, if I had to guess. But this one might be a little bit more random. Kale McCarr, nice. Kale McCarr, UD Portrait Rookie. No way. I did not know you could get uh, Kale McCarr out of this. I thought he was only in Series 2. His uh, Young Guns card's out of Series 2, and that's a really expensive card. So, UD Portrait Rookies of Kale McCarr. Dang. I'll have to look that one up. Card P50. Let me know, guys. That's a big one. I don't know the value on it, but... Because it's a portrait card, but... Kale McCarr. <laughs> D-Stone, you're doing hockey. What's going on, bud? Yeah, I mean, something I thought I would never do. I'm sitting here doing it, so... this I think this pack will have a young gun. Ooh, Dougie Hamilton, jersey card. Look at that, it's like a cup. UD jersey, that's cool. It's thick, too. Let me see if I got a thick sleeve over here somewhere. Jersey card of Dougie Hamilton for the Hurricanes. Nice, getting some heat out of here, guys. USA one. World Junior Championships a couple days ago. Very cool. Yeah, you haven't been here in a while, D-Stone. Hopefully you're doing all right. All right, this pack's going to have a Young Guns. There it is. Rudolph's Balsers. Plays for the Senators. The Senators! Good looking cards, they're sharp, man. I just don't know the value on these. I'll have to kind of look into them. See if there's any value in a PSA 10. I like that kill in the car, though. All right. We got nice boxes. And we got four packs left, so we might get another young gun. Anthony Duclair. Jack Eichel, canvas card. If you can pull a Young Guns canvas card, those are worth some good money.
Oh, we got another young gun. Stuck on it. Oh, it's a Jack Hughes and a Quinn Hughes. But it's a checklist card. <laughs> Son of a gun. We want the Quinn Hughes. It's a $275 card. Um, but we keep getting these darn checklist cards. I shouldn't complain. I mean, we got three young guns cards. Um, but both of these guys have young guns cards. Um, I think Jack Hughes is in Series 2, though. Um, are these guys brothers then? I don't know. I'm guessing they are. Um, Tyler Johnson. But we did get three Young Guns cards, so not going to complain. Yeah, it's been a long year. Been alright. Another checklist there, Austin Matthews. Bobby Ryan. All right, one more pack of this box. I'd say this was not a bad box at all. Very interesting, to say the least. Ryan Sutter. Right wingers, shooting stars. Nikita Kucherov from the Lightning. Nice looking card. It's got the foiling, the stars on there. Alright, we got one more box of the 2019. Then we're going to bust through some 2020, which is my favorite. Just got a chance at that Lafernier, which is currently going for about 200 bucks. Man, it's got to be a good spot. To I did break down and pick one up. <laughs> It'll be in the mail here. Hopefully, be here next week. Rookies pack here. D man, what's going on? So let's check out our three rookie die cut cards here. Hopefully they're different ones. Zach Sension. I just like that hollow gold foiling. Philip Zadina for the um the what you call them's. The Red Wings, that's, that's who they are. Alexandre Tex, Texier. Very cool cards. Die cuts, they got the foiling. They kind of remind me of the old Upper Deck SP from like 90s. Cool, cool design. Die cut cards typically don't grade too well though. And I'm guessing these foil, foiling cards are usually pretty sensitive all right 10 packs of cards let's get another three young gun box here why not that would be amazing Dallin Matt Murray Josh Brown young guns right off the bat guys nice Josh Brown for the Panthers I'm liking these Young Guns cards, looking pretty good. Card 247. Actually, I actually like these ones better than the 2020, the look of them. Should be an insert or something in this one, I'm gonna guess. Yep, we got a Mark Stone. UD portraits, not a portrait rookie card, like we got in the last box with the Kale McCarr, but we got a Mark, Mark Stone. Strong performance on April 14, 2018, his first career hat trick in Vegas. Nice.
Nice, we got another jersey card. So you must get a jersey card in every box. Um, I'm guessing on these. Michael Rasmussen. These are nice looking jersey cards, man. I like that design. They're thick too. Thick cards. And he is on the Red Wings. Nice. That's it. I'll have to ask my buddy about him because he lives out there by Detroit. Bobby Ryan. Bolson, what's going on? From Poland, wow. Appreciate you watching from Poland, man. That's crazy. Jeff Carter. Austin Matthews. We got a Paul Buchnevich canvas card. Interesting. He's on the Rangers, looks like. I'm going to be interested to see the Rangers play. I want to see that Lafreniere guy. Because his prices have been just crazy. Um, James, the divisions are different. Interesting. Adam Lowry. Young Guns. There we go. And he is on the Blackhawks. Dominic Kubelik. Not too familiar. Dominic Kubelik. Really nice cards though. Card 246 and Swiss National League A's points leader in 2018. Made the debut his dreams October of 2019. His first NHL game in the Czech Republic, his native country. So, very nice. Five more packs. You think buying a case of Topps Chrome is a bad idea? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know about that. I don't really try to flip boxes at all. If you think it's a good product and you just want to buy it and hold on to it, but I don't know. You're saying you're going to grade the cards at PSA and then try to sell them on ComC? Hmm. I don't usually sell raw cards on ComC, but you can send graded cards there. Ryan O'Reilly. Let's. Oh, I should get another Young Guns here. Hopefully, in this next box, or at least the next couple packs. Yeah, I mean, anytime you're opening product, it's it's tough. And you also have to look at, you know, the surface issues you're going to have on a lot of those cards. It's pretty bad with tops. You're almost better just buying the singles. That's what you're looking to do. Um... Oh, you don't have a season. Wow. Let's get a Young Guns. Come on. I think we got a canvas. Yep. Canvas of Brock Bozer. Hey, Brock, you inspire. <laughs> That's cool. Kicking a ball around. <laughs> Sick of Kyle Lewis's face, that's fun. Kyle Lewis, man. Don't hate. Alright, last pack. Let's get a young gun. Come on. Killing me, Smalls. Shooting stars of Steven Stamkos. So we did not get another one, fortunately. But we hit the odds. Can't complain. So, we got the patch cards. Those were pretty cool. And, we got this guy, Young Guns. Got the Josh Brown. Got the rookie cards. 
Got the Hughes, checklist card, Balsers, and that really nice Kale McCarr, Mario Ferrero. That was a nice one, I think. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. Hey Zeus, what's going on? All right, let's get into the 2020 guys. This is this is the product right here. This is where you can pull that Laf Lafreniere. Um, looks like he's not on the box there, but one in four packs for the um, for the young guns, and then I think it's looks like Ed portraits are one in eight, and the rookies are one in thirty. And then you do get the jumbo card. And I did pull a uh, Lafreniere jumbo card, and I did sell that for seventy six dollars. So that is like some serious heat right there. For some reason this has two. I noticed this thing has it has two plastics on it. So weird. <laughs> like it was double wrapped. I think the first wrapping kind of was the factory did kind of like didn't cover the whole box, so they wrapped it again. That's what it looks like to me. But. Nothing fishy going on, just a bad factory wrap. Let's see what we got. Nick Robertson. Nick Robertson. Let's go ahead and get a sleeve for that. Got these nice postcard sleeves that fit these cards perfectly. Very nice. And the way you can tell that these from the regular ones is the regular cards will have this like the silvering stamp. And these jumbo cards have that like yellow stamp. So if you're ever looking at online and you're not sure that they don't have it listed properly, that's what you're looking for. Nick Robertson. And we got six packs in here. Eld Eld3, what's going on? Man, these packs are like really, really tough to open. So we should get one or two Young Guns per box on these. Since they're one in four packs, you get six packs. And we're looking for the Lafreniere $200 card. Let's pull some heat here. Ooh, we got a canvas of Elvis Merzlikens. Uh, Don't know how to pronounce all these names. Set that there, and we got a Sebastian How a Ho. <laughs> Very nice green Dazzlers card. Couple of hit cards in there. Miles Wood. Yeah, you're pretty much looking for the inserts and the uh, young guns on these ones. Let's go ahead and just open these all up. Yeah, Bolson, what's going on? Nice to see hockey. Appreciate it. I'll save the tins, but I have quite a few tins and a few boxes. So if we don't hit that um, Lafreniere, we're going <laughs> to hit it hard again in a couple days. And pull one, hopefully. It's $200 raw, and the PSA 10 is like 15 to 1700 Dollars, so pretty big card. All right, let's see if we got one in here. There's toes there. Mitch Marner. Flipping cards, what's going on? Yeah, we got a Kale McCarr insert card. Insert rookie card. Timothy Liljegren. Timothy Liljegren. See, that's what I'm talking about. These corners are like almost rounded. Just how they're made. It's kind of kind of a bummer. Timothy Liljegren. Some of them are like that and some of them aren't for some reason. Mark Stone, there's that guy again. David Pasternak. Hmm. 
And that's all out of that box. We only got the one Young Guns card there. All right, next box. We have quite a few of these boxes. I have like, what, five of them left? They're just a really good deal. You get the jumbo card in there, and if you pull that Lafreniere out of there, the jumbo card, it's like 80 bucks. So, we've done it before, so we can do it again. Just gotta get lucky. Do you feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Feel lucky. Come on, baby. Liam Foodie. We got a Liam Foodie, and that's man, that got jammed on the corners. The only thing that sucks about these the way they're packaged is these corners can get like pushed pushed in. Kind of a bummer. I mean, at least in the 2018, they actually put it in plastic. Someone decided that was a good idea to stop doing that. I don't know why. But I think the this box is like the best deal because you get the six packs and the jumbo. Tins are pretty nice too, but it's 30 bucks for 10 packs. Stay tuned, guys. If we get that Lafreniere, it's going to be crazy. $200 card. These packs are just really tough to open. All right. Ooh, we got someone. Tyler Benson. We got a Tyler Benson. No idea. Looks like he's on the Steelers. Tyler Benson, card 218. If anyone knows, let me know. Josh Norris. We got a canvas card of Marc Andre Fleury and a Mitch Marner. Very nice Mitch Marner um, Dazzler's card. Connor Ingram. I think I pulled him before. Connor Ingram. Young Guns. So we got two Young Guns out of that one. Uh, Topps Chrome Baseball Base Cards. I don't think the, the uh, centering usually has an issue. Usually it's the surface of those cards. You'll have a factory line or something. I don't, or a um, little like indent in the card. But I don't think there was any centering issues, really. Alright, not a bad box. We got two Young Guns cards. It's card 218 and 223. And the last box we had card 248. Mitch Marner. I'm guessing that one's worth a few bucks. Alrighty. Next box. Another one where they got <laughs> they put two things of plastic over this thing. Very weird. Because the first piece didn't completely seal the whole box. That's kind of dumb. It doesn't need to all be sealed. Philip Broberg. 
Philip Broberg. That one actually looks pretty good. Maybe a little touch of white there, but... Eh. Eh, not bad. Philip Broberg. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, I've been picking up some really nice cards that are going to be more high dollar cards. And I'm going to be submitting through PSA with the Express, uh, which is $75 a card. But you, you'll get them back in like a month instead of waiting. Right now, I just got off the phone today with PSA because I had an order that didn't get um, put into the system uh, when they scanned it or whatever. Um, the guy told me it was 15 weeks from the time they get the order until it's entered into the system and that's another six to seven months after that before it goes all the way through and you get your order back so you're looking at six to seven months and then another almost four months so you're looking at i mean that's a year <laughs> that's literally a year so Any cards I send in at the end of the month, I'm probably not going to get them back till the end of the year. So, that being said, I want to start sending some cards out that I'm going to get back in a month. Checklist card of McKinnon and Panarin. Young Guns, Ride Duke, or Reed Duke, sorry. Got to Reed Duke Young Guns. Once again with the rounded corners, man. Unreal, man. Unreal. Reed Duke, card 202. Man, he's one card away from Lafreniere, card 201. Cackle going to be good for NYR. We pulled a Cackle, didn't we? No? I thought we pulled one. Maybe not. All right. Quinn Hughes, nice. We got a Quinn Hughes Dazzlers card, very nice. And uh, second year card right here, Quinn Hughes. It's got to be worth a few bucks, eh? All right. Dominic Kubalik, Young Guns is nice, very nice. What's it worth? <laughs> it's Zaccarello. Okay, he's going to look it up. Vitek Vanacek. De Goli. Vicek Vanacek. Card 211. Very nice. Plays for the Capitals. Mitch Marner. Got a canvas card? We do. A Sam Steele canvas card. Dominic Kubelik, Young Guns. 15 to $20. Very nice. Very, very nice. USD. So maybe we'll end up getting that one graded. Yeah, I think that was the first Young Guns we hit. So very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, set all these. Set all the good ones right here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Not bad, not bad. Sam Steele. Alright, next box here. I think this is box number four, I believe.
Yeah, most of the guys, if they're good, are like $15 to $20 range. It's just that Lafernier that's crazy price. Philip Kurashev. Very nice. Didn't we did we pull his card? I thought we pulled a Blackhawk. That wasn't him. All these names are sort of similar. Let's see what this one looks like. Not horrible. Not horrible at all. Uh, you get these at Walmart. These blasters are 20 bucks a piece. So not too shabby. You get the six packs plus the uh, jumbo card. Pretty good bang for your buck. Get one or two young guns per box in the packs. It's a 50-50 shot. And you're looking for the Lafreniere worth 200 bucks. Uh, on eBay, I would say right now I'm getting maybe like five a day. Um, when my store is like really full, I'm getting like 10 or 15. And I average about 100 or more dollars a sale. So I don't need a ton of sales to make money. That's what I'm averaging with the PSA graded stuff. Um, for the bulk stuff I grade. But the higher end stuff I want to grade is going to be probably like an average of $500 to $1,000 a card. I mean, I sold a John Morant the other day for four, no, five seventy, five hundred seventy, dollars And I got a LeBron right now. I'm working out a deal for five sixty five on that one. Not, it's not the uh, qu uh, quantity as much as it is the quantity for me. I don't like grading a lot of like low end stuff, and it's just a lot of work. Um, let's see here. Timothy Liljegren from the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. I thought we hit one of him already. Maybe it was a jumbo card? Nope, guess not. You guys don't mind leaving a like on the video. I'm gonna do some more baseball probably tomorrow. Oops, wrong pile. I don't know, can you knock it? Patch cards in these 2020s because we haven't hit one. There's an there's that Ovechkin checklist card. Hopefully we can hit a um, canvas uh, Young Guns card. There we go, another Blackhawk right there, ladies and gentlemen. Nicholas Budin. So that's the first one we hit of him. Blackhawks card 226. Doesn't have a whole lot of stats on there, huh? Yeah, nothing. Left-handed. Very nice. I will take it. So we got two hits out of this box. That was a good box. Brady Ch Chuchuk. Quinn Hughes, very nice. Got a Quinn Hughes. Don't know if it's worth anything. It's just a base card. But... It's just a base card. Ooh, just leave him up anyways. Because it's Quinn Hughes, for crying out loud. Canucks. Leaves here. Have we only hit the. We only think I hit the green dazzlers. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I hit an orange one one day, but only green today. Two more boxes. Yeah, see all that plastic all messed up on there. So weird. Best card you packed up in 2020. Um, 
best card I sold in 2020. Let's <sighs> think here. I sold an Eloy Jimenez gold out of 50 autograph rookie card. Um, PSA 10. I got like 900 bucks for it. Ooh, is this a Lafreniere? It's an Af Oh my god, we called it. I seen the colors on the card. We got a Lafreniere, ladies and gentlemen. $80 bill right there. Woo! Let's go. Let's freaking go. Sound the horn. Grab another song here because this one's probably going to be sold individually. Little ding on the corner there. Pretty common with these. I just sold my last one, uh, I think like 24 hours after I put it up. I got 76 bucks for it. It's looking pretty good other than that tiny little corner there. But easy, easy money on that. If we can actually pull him out of the set, card 201, that's a $200 card. So, sick, man. Heck yeah. Boom, shakalaka, boom. Pulling the heat. Nas, what's going on? Yeah, flipping. That's why I'm buying the blasters, because you pull that card. I mean, I've opened, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I've opened five. So, let me think here. One, two, three, four, five. I've opened five of these. we got one more, I believe. Um, and yeah, you, uh, you have a decent shot at hitting that card. It's worth a good 80 bucks, so. And I had no problem selling my other one. No problem at all. Yeah, exactly. Um, $80 card pays for four of these boxes out of the six, so, you know. And then you get a couple other young guns that are 15, 20 bucks and you already got your money back. Not including if you know if you grade them and you get a nine or a ten. All right, last second to last box. We got two other boxes that are like bigger boxes. We might crack those as well since I got a lot of people in here. Kevin Fiala. Shane Bowers. Very nice. I think that's a good one. Shane Bowers. Colorado. Card 240. I could be wrong. Shane Bowers. I don't know. Let me know. Barkov. I think we already pulled that card. Let's get a two young gun box here. Come on. Or a canvas young gun. Ah, it's not a canvas young gun. Ryan gets laugh. Lucy, what's going on? Uh, the, uh, the best card I pulled so far out of the hockey is this card here. It's the jumbo. Lafreniere. It's like 80 bucks. I've pulled two of them now. That's why I I'm keep buying these. And we got a Liam Foodie. Nice. Liam Foodie. Very nice young gun right there. Card 224. Uh, last call. Scratchers, what's going on? Killing it on these boxes, man. Killing it. Call me trading cards and killing it. <laughs> I'm looking forward to more of that Tops Up um, holiday, though. That's a fun, fun to open. We did pull the Boba Shet Christmas hat one, but I want to pull the, the Lou Bob. Um, the Lou Bob uh, with the candy cane bat. Who's playing the lottery tonight? <laughs> Not me. Um, let me move my piles over here a little bit. One more blaster.
Wouldn't it be crazy if we pull another Lafreniere Jumbo? <laughs> That's crazy. If we get another one. Okay, so if you see these on the shelf, I would, you know, pick them up. Just my opinion. Nick Robertson. I think there's a couple guys named Robertson in this set. Because we got... No, we got two Nick Robertsons. Son of a gun. We got two Nick Robertsons. Imagine if we had gotten two Lafreniers. Son of a gun. Most of these I'll probably just send in the comments and sell them on there. Easy money. This one I'll pop it on my eBay and get it get it going. Alright. Nick Robertson is, is good. Nice. Son of a young gun. <laughs> Super Arsenal, what's going on? It's young gun cards, man. It's where it's at. Money in the bank. Still want to pull that Lafreniere base, though, man. Come on. How many packs do you got to open? I figure it's about one out of uh, 200 packs. It should be the hit rate on it. We've opened, like, over 10 of these blasters. That's, like, 60 packs right there. Multiple tins. So I figure we're pretty due for it. Uh, Ranger cards. Ranger cards. Um... We got the Lafreniere Jumbo. Um, I think we did have one Ranger. But I don't know. I don't know which one it was. I'm, I'm not really sure. It's pr there's probably a couple in the insert pile. Actually, I had a... Was it the Rookie? Let me see here. No, I had a ranger. Um, dang. Where was my ranger? If anyone can remember what I pulled, I know I pulled something. There's probably something in there. I don't know which one it was, though. Bought a Kobe for 100. Not bad. Which one was it? All right, let's see what we get out of this last blaster here. Kale McCarr, very nice. Not sure if I hit that one before or not. Sean Marino. Checklist, Quinn, Quinn Hughes and Elias Patterson. Darn it. Um... Uh, upper deck when he's wearing his cast. Oh, okay, upper deck. Interesting. Is it graded? Morgan Geike. From the Hurricanes. Card 210. Mitch Marner. Anz Kopitar. Mark Stone, Connor McDavid, alrighty, so we only got one can, uh, young gun there, but stick around, I got two more boxes, I'm going to just go ahead and rip them, if you guys want to hang out for a few more. Kale McCarr. Yeah, I really like that Kale McCarr rookie insert we got. 108 point top loaders. Nice. Alright, so yeah. We got this um, box here. You get 10 packs. These are these go for 30 bucks. 
And you can pick them up at like Target. So, hopefully, we pull some heat. Don't get any kind of like jumbo card in here. Oh, we got an exclusive pack. Nice. Let's see what we got in there. Collect Team Triples cards. Oh, I just have a regular like tripod I bought at Walmart for like 15 bucks. It's nothing great here. Um, Elias Patterson on the front. Two cards per pack. May contain time sensitive redemption. So you can actually get a hit out of here, guys. Um, Bolson, what's going on? Heslin Rookies, Heat Legend. I have no idea who that is. Oh, does anybody have the top loaders? I don't I don't know. Try eBay. Let's see if we got some heat here, guys. Uh we got the Oilers there. We got three guys on the card. And we got um stars. Hmm. So they're just cards with three guys on them. But I guess according to the packaging you can get a redemption card in there. Maybe it's a redemption auto of like three guys or something. That would be pretty cool. Ooh, we got a young gun right there. Right off the rip. Do five packs at a time here. That's five packs. Okay. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, we got a Dazzler and it's blue. Maybe these boxes have a different color variation. Matt Duchene. Blue Dazzlers. Nice. Burden. We got our first Young Guns out of here, and I know we got another one down at the bottom. So, that is good stuff. This one's got square. Ooh, it's just got a pushed-in corner there. And a really bad factory line. Roller mark or something right there. Fortunate for that one, McCall Burden. Hopefully the rest of them are not damaged. Oh, he's been sitting on a bench for 10 years. <laughs> Still won all NBA championships for Heat. Oh, nice. Very cool. Um, Los Angeles, what's going on? Opening Champions Path. Just pulled a Charizard Rainbow. Wow, very nice. Very nice. Yeah, I didn't pull that card, but I did pick one up. I think it's going for around 300. Jansen Harkins. Jansen Harkins. Did we already pull him? I think we already pulled him. Maybe not. I thought we pulled him. Unless he's him. Huh. Man. Jansen Harkins. So our second young gun. These have the square corners. You got it. It always seems like the left corner has a little touch of white on these. Fortunately, Jansen Harkins. Really nice blue dazzler card. Alrighty, next five packaroos. Hopefully we get another a third young gun. That would be nice. Here we got two out of the first five packs, and then none out of the second five packs would kinda suck. Ok, 
John bought some hockey packs. Good luck on those. Yeah, pretty much all the Walmarts I've been seeing the Champions Path Elite Trainer boxes. So anybody out there that's looking to get them, just hit up your Target or Walmart. You should be able to find them. Ooh, I think I saw possibly a Young Gun card. Yes, we do have one. Ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Harley. Yep. Have the square, it's have the square corners, but they have that little touch of white there. Unfortunately, ooh man, that's bad. Look at that quality. What's going on there with that quality control? <laughs> Look at that. That's nuts. Christ, Christ on the bike. <laughs> Hate to pull a Fernie. It has that issue. Sidney Crosby. Hit a young gun uh, canvas, that would be awesome. TJ Oshi. Kind of wish we had upper deck baseball and basketball cards again, but John Carlson, Capitals. Mitch Marner. So. Not a not a great box there as we had those cards with the issues on the corners, but but we had three. Three out of one box, which was pretty good. Alright. One last box, guys, and then we're gonna call it a day. I got some tins. I got what seven tins, but we'll do those on another day. Um Yeah. The reason why you found some is because the flippers aren't buying it. Once they stop buying it and realize they're not going to make any money on it, you're going to find it sitting on the shelf. And they've been stocking it for a few weeks now. So That's why the average consumer like us can go to Target or Walmart and pick up a box. My Lead Nation, what's going on? Go ahead and open the bonus pack first here. See if we pull a redemption. Redemption. Wonder if they're slow like Panini. <laughs> no redemption. We got the Jets and we got the Oilers. The Oilers. Very nice. It looks gold on there. Are the other ones? No, the other ones were all silver. Huh. Wonder if it's like a gold variation. Shh, that's gotta be. It's not numbered or anything, but the whole the whole card is gold instead of silver. Alright, alright. I see you there. Yeah, see you soon there, D-Stone. Going to Walmart now and the casino. Spend your whole paycheck at the casino. All right. My buddy Carson does a casino live stream on his YouTube channel. Ticket time. It's pretty fun. He's won a few thousand dollars on there. Just on one, on one game. Usually he plays, tries to play with other people's money and then, you know, he gives them their money back, depending on what he wins. Oh, we got a patch card in here, I think, guys. We got a hit. We got a hit, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if it's an auto patch. That would be insane. I don't know if you can get those out of here or not, but we got a hit. I have not hit a hit yet. <laughs> Adam Fox from, Adam Fox from the Rangers. Someone was asking about the Rangers. And it's a patch of Oliver Ekman Larson. Let me get this get the thick sleeves over here. Got them hiding. There's 
not that I'm figuring thing, fortunately, but always nice to get a jersey card. That's our third a jersey card hit of the video. Free play is always nice. David Pasternak. So far we haven't got a Young Guns. The last box had three, so I'm guessing this box is going to have two Young Guns, unfortunately. But, can't complain. Get some more sleeves here. Last five, ladies and gentlemen. Come back tomorrow. We're going to be doing more Tops Holiday. I got ten boxes. Fun product. Going to search for those super rare short prints. or one in like 40, 140 packs. Basically like one, one in 14 or one in 16 boxes. I can't remember. Going to be looking for that. Maybe get another auto. Try to get that Lewis Robert short print. Maybe get some other cool short prints. Just a fun product to open. All right, let's pull some heat here, guys. Let's get that Lafernier, guys, in the last five packs. Let's make it happen. Let's do it. Nick Robertson. Got the Nick Robertson. I think that was our guy, wasn't it? Someone was mentioning earlier from the Maple Leafs. And that sucker is looking clean like Billy Jean. <whistles> that is a PSA 10 potential. I don't see that really bad line at the top like those last one had. All the corners are sharp. It's looking jemmy. Probably going to be 100 bucks or more in a PSA 10. So that is a nice hit, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. PSA 10, if I do say so myself. Got a canvas of Elvis. Elvis has left the building. Very, very much. Um, <laughs> he's supposed to be pretty good, I believe. Another canvas. David Kervigiaccia, that guy from the Bruins. <laughs> I can't pronounce these names, guys. I apologize. Quinn Hughes, very nice. Got the Quinn Hughes. And a Jake Odinger from the Stars. Looks like another goalie. Colleen, what's going on? Bolson, yeah, I'm planning on grading a few of these. It depends on how, you know, what the prices are on them. You know, if they're... Not worth a lot. I probably won't grade them. This one's looking pretty good as well. Seems like the ones that come out of the um, come out of the hanger boxes, um, the other boxes, they tend to have the round corners most of the time. But these boxes, they're having the square cut corners. So, Jake Odinger. Alrighty. So we'll do a little recap here, see what kind of what do you guys think the best hits were. Not too bad. I think we opened about two hundred and seventy dollars in product here. So, some canvas cards, some insert cards, really nice blue dazzle card there, Kale McCarr portrait card, Quinn Hughes dazzle card was pretty nice, Mitch Mariner. Elvis. Do we get two of those Elvis cards? Mark Stone. And we got these cool 
rookie cards, the gold foiling on them. I don't know if we got any big names in there. Did end up with three jersey cards. One of them is one of them is a red wing there. Hurricanes and that guy. And then taking a look at our young guns. Nick Robertson, I believe, is a nice one. Panacek. Shane Bowers. Nicholas Buden. Dominic Kabulik. Very nice. Kale McCarr. UD Portraits. That was a really nice one. Mario Ferrero. So let's see how many young guns we got total here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20 young guns cards. Pretty nice stack there. And then some other cards here. Oh, never mind. We got that young guns. I forgot the 2018. We got a few in there. So 22 young guns cards then. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought the best card was. Um, pretty stoked that we got to pull another Jumbo Lafernier <laughs> to be going up for sale. So it'll be gone. Nothing at Walmart. Yeah, very typical. Kylian likes the hockey cards. Very cool. Yeah, it's something different, and it's it's been fun. So keeping it going, pulling some good some good cards. Um, but. Once again, baseball tomorrow, Tops Holiday. We got 10 boxes. We got a box of Tops Stadium Club Chrome. And then uh, maybe the next day we'll do some more hockey. We got we got these tins. So we're going to still try to get that Lafernier. Still, still haven't hit it. It's about 1 in 200 packs. So hopefully we can hit it on the next opening. Thanks for watching. Have a good weekend. And we'll see you in the next one. Take care.